York. So Spice, uh, you know, speaking about your event, and uh, just to touch on just a little topic, like we said, you know, you have experience of scrutiny. In one of your performances recently with the same, the Unruly, um, your fans, because you have performed too at LGBT community um, events in Canada and all that kind of stuff, and you had a, a, a fan that came on stage and you were receiving backlash for entertaining said bestie. Um, what, since you have, you know, it's your voice, what would you no, like to man, say to the people? No, man, tell me again. Me never did receive the backlash. Mm. See, I got so <laughs> upset about it. No, me never did receive the backlash. All right, it's Mr. Vegas. It's a great deal come out from text up about it. Yes, so how do you feel, Mr. Vegas? My mind, Vegas, Vegas come out from text up about it. Jealous <laughs> Vegas come out from text up about it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just yes, 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 yes. So Mr. Vegas did come out and you know he's scrutinizing your performance and then of course you decide to drop the video showing that if even that call and I said we're the other transgender then they must come. Thank you very much. I can't lie to your man. <laughs> ah, it's old. I just see the thing but ah Yes, so How is it like make this make sense? There's a lot of hypocrisy see. that is happening with the music. And that's yeah. why no one doesn't like me from now up. I like it. Mm -hmm. Because how is it never do a performance? And now I'm going to call out people from the stage. Mm -hmm. Me not you ever see me a performance stop and say, what's your sexual preference? Who you are and say, I don't do that. Like, come on, make it make sense. So I call up someone and it happens to be mm -hmm. somebody that is from the LGBTQ. And what you are telling them, you can run them and tell them, to quit, and come on for the stage. But you have an interview that you did in the past. Mm -hmm. Saying that when you saw the trans transgender, let's be very clear, Mr. Vegas, mm -hmm. you call them and up them up and have this no more or less, you yeah, up them up and take pictures. So why is this, what, what's this hypocrisy? Mm -hmm. and, uh, trying to assassinate my career mm -hmm. because you feel like we don't remember your interviews, Mr. Vegas. You're a hypocrite, that's the problem. And it's not just him, I'm just a damn jealous to see that. Me and them come from the same era, but me still are real now and nothing I want to them. So I'm so cute, I'm so cute, but you never remember to have a fan base named Best Truth where I have kind of received from in the past. So I'm just reminding you to stop it hypocrisy because you love transgender. You love transgender. So that's what you love and you love them. Right. And, and, and like many people say, I mean, what were you going to do? You can't run the, the fan. It's your fan and your fan base is and open I'm to not everyone. Going to. And I just you want know? to be very clear. Mm -hmm. I don't care about anybody with nobody I do. I come to do music and I'm music. I'm doing music. I'm doing, I'm doing, music. I'm doing a... How is it that somebody ever come? The one that we are there in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And our aim is to make our impact global. But then you want to dictate who should listen to your music. Like, I mean, you know, and the consumers of the hypocrisy, the level of hypocrisy, crazy to me. When Mr. Vegas go anywhere, go perform, he don't know who in the crowd. True. Let's be very clear. True. I agree. So, 100%. what are you saying? Like, make it make sense. You're just trying to find a reason to come at me because mm -hmm. you are jealous of the level where I'm taking my career. You never expect it. Because mm -hmm. to go back to it, you never expect that a little black girl and have a couple from Jamaica and start kicking them from the world and think it's shut. That's mm -hmm. not the problem. And uh, again, because you're like always trending, you feel like um, a lot of times this is just to get some attention that they're trying to get towards whatever it is that so, they're doing. So uh, when, when, when Mr. Vegas came out and said, I should not be interacting with that person from the LGBTQ, LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. And I posted an interview where he said he loved them and he hugged them up and he took me and asked for more. Mm -hmm. How for you? If, yeah, like if Hypocrisy. Okay. Like the song, talk. like the song, hypocrisy. Okay. Miss Dunn, 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 Miss yeah, so of, of course, uh, you guys hear it. She, she, she's, she's saying it loud and clear. And of course, as you guys know, Spice will always speak the truth. She speaks what's in her heart. And right is right. And I mean, you know, she does come with her seat. She does drop it and it just might drop everything. So it's like, oh, all right.
kill that real quick but i have to say you know big up to yourself um try to just drown out the noise uh, again i know that it's really hard to do um especially on your level and as you said you know staying current for over 25 years and doing it really big is definitely a milestone that we have to commend and congratulate so congratulations to you keep doing your thing can't wait for the album to drop is there any other projects that you're working on because i know that you have your hand in so much stuff you're an entrepreneur you have your restaurant maybe i, I saw something like yeah do you have like a, a, a like a hotel in a one country uh, around yeah. one country <laughs> August 9th, August 9th, August 9th. Make sure that you definitely go and get it. So, Spice, big shout out to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview again. I wish you nothing but the best. I don't know some support for a long time. I'm going to continue to support you through all your entire music career. Because we say one love. I wear the Leo. The Leo sis, I love you. Happy birthday when it comes. You got yourself. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. But before you leave us, I'd love for you to actually introduce uh, one of your tracks off the album, Mirror 25, with the bro bro, Mr. Buster Rhymes, for Riddleland right now. This one is called Wrong Wrong, featuring the boss man, the legend, Buster Rhymes. Make sure when you hear this, anyway, you have to pull over and drive because you have to dance right now and just go round, round, round and round.